everybody, it's Zach again at NewTutor.com. I wanted to quick come in and do a quick video because I saw some uh, the gold and silver prices today uh, just getting hammered. Um, gold down like $1,300 something and silver down to $22, $23 an ounce. And uh, that's uh, people are get very discouraged when they see that because they've been holding on to their gold and silver for whatever, however length of time. And they've been hoping that it's going to go up because everyone keeps saying, hey, it's going to go up, it's going to go up. And then they see things like this where it's being slammed. You have to understand what's going on here. Do not be discouraged at this. In fact, you should be encouraged by this. There are specific reasons why this, are, this is moving and moving in the direction it is. Uh, we know for a fact that J.P. Morgan, which really is can, in major control of the COMEX, uh, has short positions in gold and silver. Major short positions in gold and silver. And they have gotten their bank buddies, Bank of America, uh, Morgan Stanley, uh, uh, Chase Bank, all these other banks out there to also buy short positions in silver. Not as big as J.P. Morgan holds in short positions, but also holds short positions. And listen, the banks don't lose money. They don't play that game. So they always make money. And so what they have here is that anytime silver, for instance, gets above $35 an ounce, uh, they are in, in dire uh, danger zone of losing money in their short positions. So they don't allow silver to get above $35 an ounce anymore because they don't want to lose the money. And so what they're trying to do, they're going to have to do is slam silver, slam gold uh, in, a, in order to get out of their, their short positions. Because when you short a position, you can go look this up on Wikipedia. When you short a stock, basically you're you're betting money that that stock is going to do poorly. And so what? That's what they have. They have major short positions. They're betting silver is going to do poorly. But we know it's a fact that people are buying silver at an, uh, at, uh, at enormous rates. And so how does that equate? How is it going to go bad? Well, it's not going to go bad. But the bankers want silver to stay bad because they understand that they're in a they're in an economy built on usury. It's a Federal Reserve banking system. Um, it's not honest weights and honest measures. And they know that when societies collapse and money's uh, currencies collapse, people always go back to gold and silver. And so they want silver and gold to do poorly. They want to keep their Ponzi scheme going uh, for as long as possible. So they're manipulating the markets. What you need to see and understand is that when this gold and silver gets slammed like this, it's JP Morgan and the people who run the COMEX slamming and manipulating gold and silver in order to get out of their short positions. They have to get out of their short positions. Once they do that, then they can go ahead and allow it to go up. It'll go up eventually. It'll never get up to what uh, it's supposed to get, uh, at least while the US currency is still in effect. But, you know, you could see easy 60, 70, maybe even $150 an ounce for silver. Um, but uh, that's later after they get out of their short positions. Uh, silver traditionally right now should be about $1,260 an ounce. If you do the historical value over the last 2,000 years of silver, silver right now in terms of U.S. dollars should be about $1,260 an ounce. And there are plenty of great videos out there that show that and do the math on that. I'm not going to do it here because I don't have the time. But... Uh, what you need to be do, what you need to do is be encouraged. Understand that this is a Ponzi scheme. It is collapsing, and there's going to be a roller coaster ride that you're going to have to go on. Hold on to your gold and silver. If you can buy more, buy more. When it goes down like this, when gold gets hammered like this, when silver gets hammered like this, go out and buy more. Uh, silver's the better buy. But be encouraged. Don't be discouraged. Uh, this is to be expected. This is the banks doing what they have to do, slamming silver in order to get out of their short positions. I wanted to make that clear so people understand. All right, uh, that's it. Go home, read your Bible. Thanks.